What's up everyone? So happy to be sitting down and making this video because I just haven't been making videos and I think I know why I have felt like plugged up <laughs> in terms of the messages coming through and the videos that I've been wanting to make and I've been getting downloads and I've like had a lot to talk about but when I sit down to record a video it just like it's not there it's like not coming out it's not making sense I just like feel off my game and so I'm like okay what the hell is going on spirit and essentially what's been up is I've been getting nudges and downloads as to how what I need to switch up in the channel so it flows better like energetically wise but if it metaphysically wise like it all makes sense multi-dimensionally so bear with me as I try to break it down here but basically I've known that I need to start a separate channel just for my tarot readings for a while and I haven't done that and it's become very apparent that it, I need to do that in order for things to flow better on this channel and so yeah I love to talk about my story times some people might think I'm sharing too much about my life and that's whatever I love I love talking about the things I'm exploring I love making light of the things that I'm going through and I just know that it benefits those beings that are drawn to it and so you know I essentially have nothing to hide I won't share anything that is like too much but you know I do like talking about metaphysics and the soul's blueprint soul's journey things that I'm exploring and how I'm interpreting those things and the nature of reality through my lens of perception. So I'm going to continue to do that. However, what I was saying too is that I have known for a little bit or I felt that I needed to start the separate channel and I wasn't. And so I feel like that's one of the reasons why I was being plugged up with my other messages is because Spirit's like, hey, girl, like we're trying to usher you in this other direction. And so, you know, it would be... <laughs> of best interest and things will flow a lot more easily overall when you like heed this message and so it's not always as black and white as that but I do understand that my soul's blueprint my soul's path tends to be one that feels very narrow like on one hand it's very expansive right it's very like I feel very connected when I'm in line with in alignment with what I'm here to do but for whatever reason I was resisting creating just creating a new channel and separating it and everything so uh, yeah, I mean, this channel is going to stay the same. I'm really excited to continue to explore all the things and discuss it. And it just like this brings me so much juice. I love doing it. And then also tarot started off as more of like an experiment that has really stuck. And I love doing it. And it's provided a lot of healing for many people so far. And so, yeah, I'm excited for that to be its own thing. And so I can kind of separate those who are here just for the tarot and those who are just here for the metaphysical soul blueprint kind of celestial starseed lightworker empath kind of thing right so happy to be back i didn't go anywhere also interesting to note too that in my chart sagittarius rising and just like how chiron is positioned right now i think that's how you pronounce it i know that i was starting to feel pressure around what i'm supposed to do with my channel and if i'm on like it moving in the right direction with my whatever the hell that means with what it is I'm here to do and with my content and everything and so I do know specifically like one of my favorite astrologers Chani Nicholas just sent out an email she does like bi-monthly readings or bi-monthly newsletters for the new moon and um, and the full moon and then if there's something else like really astrologically important happening I think she'll mention that too but it, it was interesting because she pretty much laid out exactly everything that I've been feeling. I've been feeling this pressure to like monetize my hobby and my interests in some sort of way, but also feeling resistance to that, resistance to like the game and the matrix and like always wanting to move up and always wanting to seek some sort of way to like monetize whatever feels natural. I feel like we can be coerced out of a natural flow when we're doing that. So I was like resisting and I was feeling that pressure and I knew I just needed to kind of just like tune out if I wanted like this. <laughs> I'm distracted by my husky right now. Don't knock out. So his paw, you guys, is right next to where I plug this light in. And so I'm like having a panic attack that he's going to unplug it because he's like flipping around and sniffing and stuff. So <laughs> that's why I'm a little distracted. Um, no, Nero, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh my God, he's stretching. Okay, I can't look. Okay, 
So I knew that I just needed to unplug and not think about it, not focus on it because I was not allowing, like logic was getting in the way of innate intelligence coming through, which is like, it's obvious. The answer was so clear and so obvious and it just feels right. So all very necessary, but yeah, this is a long way of saying I have a new channel just for my tarot videos. I'm gonna be doing weekly tarot videos. I'll probably stay consistent with Tuesday just because that's what I'm on that schedule. That's what's worked. And then I'm gonna start doing other things, other new things, since that's gonna be just for my divination. So that's divinity incarnate divination at this point is what it's gonna be called. And then this is gonna be more for story times and everything else that I've all already been kind of doing. So if you were here for the tarot, go check that channel out. You can stay tuned over here too because I think we have a lot of good stuff brewing over here too. But um, yeah, I'm happy to be on this journey with you guys and I'm so blessed by you know these very unique types of connections that the internet these days can um, create and can allow to blossom. It's some of my closest friends or some of the, those beings that I feel the closest to even if I haven't known them for very long and even if I haven't even met them our soul family that I found through the the magic of the interweb so yeah I hope I see you guys soon much love